Are you getting frustrated at this time of the year? You're not alone. Getting frustrated and stressed out right now is pretty darn common. We have so much going on and so many things on our plate and we're stressed out. We're overloaded. One way to combat the frustration is to determine what you see as the center of it, as the locus of control, as what you attribute your frustration to. And there are two kind of different areas that you can attribute to external, those things outside of yourself, outside of your control and internal, those things within your control. A lot of times when we see ourselves getting really, really frustrated and not being able to overcome that frustration, we are attributing our stress to an external locus of control. Maybe it's, oh, my um, work schedule is nuts or I don't like this coworker, or maybe it's if everybody else would drive the right way, I wouldn't have to get so stressed out or um, maybe my kids are acting bananas right now and I just, if I didn't have these things going on, I would be at peace or I'd be happy or I wouldn't be so stressed. When we attribute things to external factors, we feel like we have less control. These things are happening to us rather than we are happening alongside or within this system. When we look at what can we control or how are we contributing to this or how could we solve this, then we have greater control over our frustration. So if you say my work schedule is nuts right now, you can say, what can I do to make my day more organized or what can I do to be more productive or what can I do to ask someone at work to take some off my plate? If a coworker is driving you bananas at work, say, what am I doing? Why is this bugging me so much? Why am I so triggered by this person? And then how do I reassess this? How do I reattribute this so that this is not affecting my mental peace? If it's your kids, say, what am I doing? Are my kids bananas because it's a holiday season? Are they bananas because I'm not focusing on them? Is it been, Are they bananas because uh, I'm giving them too much sugar? Are they bananas because they've got too much screen time? They're bored, whatever. Figure out what you can do. Sometimes it's humbling to say, oh, my kids are acting bananas, but I also notice they're acting bananas the most when I'm not paying that much attention to them, when I'm paying attention to the rest of my life. When we can figure out how we contribute, then we can take greater control over that and reduce our frustration. Especially at this time of the year, we need more of that. I'm Dr. Meredith Rausch, helping you connect better with yourself and each other. Come back and see me.